thinking about hitting the road? Six years of full-time adventure might look a little like this. If you enjoy watching and want to see more, please like and subscribe. This scene was recorded back in 2018, and I remember driving up to this eroded section of track. I put the camera down thinking, ah, oh, this will be cool, the Jeep will flex, it'll show some leg. I expected to drive right over it, but the terrain was so loose that I kept sliding back down into the ditch. Eventually, by adjusting my line, I was able to make it across. Thank you. 
Why, yes, I did drape fairy lights over my tailgate. I guess it kind of looks cool. <laughs> a friend told me about this place. I googled it. I saw that there was red rock, palm trees, so I plotted a route. What I did not know was how demanding that route would be. That was a pretty intense four-wheel drive road. I got through it okay, but uh, it was definitely technical due to the erosion and a lot of off-camber sections. All right, so for the past couple days, I traveled from Caliente, Nevada, down to approximately Mesquite, Nevada, where I intersected with Interstate 15. That was a huge network of roads, so there is tons of exploring that can be done in the, the southeastern edge of Nevada. Nevada. I do call it Nevada now. A lot of BLM lands, a lot of open space, and a huge network of dirt roads. I got some rocks in my tire bead coming out of Gold Bar National Monument. It's not leaking, but it can't stay there. All set, no bubbles, no troubles. GPS data is available to Patreon subscribers and to paid members of Venture4WD.com. Thanks for watching everyone.